Hey, Elite Total Body Care, Private Label Hair Care Company, and Crystal Williams Online. So I guess this is a story time that is long overdue. Um, a lot of you have been asking me questions and I've been just giving you guys just, you know, just a professional answer. But you guys know I'm super transparent and I like to basically just give reality um, in a sense. So when you guys come on in, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. That's automatic. I tell you guys that all the time. Don't be a scumina. Just go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Don't be a window shopper. Don't be a looky loo. Thumbs up the live. Okay. Well, let me get my shameless plugs out of the way. Number one, today is day two of our anniversary. Today is ebook and e class day. So all of our ebooks and all of our e classes are on sale for $4.20. And on top of that, if you buy four books, you get one extra book for free. So all you have to do is put five books in your cart. No code is needed. And that will give you that will give you one of your books for free. So basically $20.80 gets you five nice size ebooks. Trust me. Um, let me kind of crack my window. It's a little warm, but then outside it's cold. So that's another reason why I got in the car. All right, so let's just go straight into it. <sighs> so we're not going to say any names. That's irrelevant. If you know, you know. But um, I am, I would say that I'm a veteran in my career. Um, and by the word veteran, I don't mean by age. I mean by experience. I've been an assistant. I've been a student. I've been a cosmetologist. I've been an under-the-table cosmetologist or a hairstylist. I've done it all within my industry. I've done braiding. That wasn't for me. I've done assisting. As an assistant, I learned a lot, but I learned a lot in good ways and bad ways. I learned how to deal with difficult people. I learned all of that stuff. Anyway... Um, as you become more experienced, that is when you decide that you need more help. Now, this was pre-pregnancy for Crystal. Um, I've had many assistants before. Not many. Let me not say I've had many. I've had a few assistants. Um, I will say that one of my best was Ash. But Ash also has a career. Okay? So, for those of you that don't know, Ash all already had a career when she had started assisting for me. And that was just because of her love of hair. And she just liked doing it. So Ash was very good at what she did. That was probably one of my, one of my best assistants that I've ever had. And I've had a total of four assistants in my 20 years of career. Anyhow, um, the other day, a couple months ago, you guys heard me saying that I was looking for, thank you, that I was looking for some help. I, I wasn't really putting out ads and all that. I did put out like... I think I put an ad on my Instagram at one point. And then the rest was just me talking to you guys on YouTube. Before I go any further, I need everybody to close their chat. I need everybody to hit the thumbs up button. So close your chat right now. Hit the thumbs up button. Hit the thumbs up button and close your chat right now. Hit the thumbs up button. We're going to wait until we get to at least 100 thumbs up, which is over 50% of who's watching. Because a lot of you come on here and it's free to thumbs up the live. It costs you nothing, so you should be able to thumbs it up. All right, good. We'll reach you about 100 just that fast. That's how, we know. That's how I know y'all like people business. I know I just wind up my window because the baby's acting up. I don't love people business. Look how fast I got over 100 likes. But if I'm doing a live on a regular day, it's almost like I'm begging y'all to do the thumbs up. Come on now. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, Hold on. I'm letting my counterpart know that I'm live. Because if I don't see her on here, then she quickly will say, why you ain't tell me I'm live? So I just let her know that I'm live. All right, good. So um, within the time that I was looking for... Okay, Grace, see you there. All right, good. Within the time that I had mentioned that I was looking for an assistant, someone had reached out 
and they sent me an email that they saw that I was looking for an assistant. They're located within the area. They'd love to talk more about it. So I'm going to give you guys some of the red flags. And I'll still give you guys some of the good things. It's not always about the bad stuff, but I'll give you guys both. So the first day, the person, I'm, I'm a punctual person. And this was a red flag, but I did, not, I did not zone in as a red flag. Because a part of me actually needed help. So that was another reason why I didn't zone in so much when I should have really zoned in because this is what actually became one of the bigger problems. Anyhow, um, the person was supposed to come in like I'll make up a time. The person was supposed to be in at nine for us to chat, um, for us to kind of like go over everything, just to kind of feel the person out, that kind of thing, make sure that we're a good fit. Well, the first day the person was supposed to come, your tech, your, your call, the person called my, my office line, which is the elite hair care line, basically saying that they were lost. They were trying to find a place. Then they all, of it, it was so many different things. So I kind of let it slide, but I shouldn't have let it slide because this is what happens when you let things slide. Okay. This right here is what happens. So the, from the first day, the person was late. I should have already known to stay right there. You're not a good fit because I'm a punctual person. And when I say punctual, meaning if I know I got a client at nine, I'm not walking in the salon at 10 o'clock. Okay. I do have respect for people's time. Now, some mornings is harder than others, but I'm still not one of those people where I move slowly and try to act like it don't really matter because it does. And I always tell people, thank you for the, thank them for their patience or let them know, hey, I'm five minutes away with something had happened, whatever the case may be, or 90% of the time I'm already in the salon waiting. And I start them anyway. I'm, I'm getting there from like 8.30 and I start at 9. So after the first day, I let that pass by. Hello, Father. Um, I only work Thursdays and Fridays and then every other Saturday. Or some Saturdays, not even every other Saturday. Some Saturdays. So I think this is also a, a mistake that I made. You have to admit your mistakes too. So I'm going to say the mistake that I made. In the midst of all of this that went on. So the first couple days or weeks, I guess you can say, you know, it was kind of like teaching the person how to really be me without being me. And when I say teaching the person how to be me without being me, meaning understanding how I move and how I work. I'm a fast paced worker. I'm also one of those people where I don't like to micromanage you. If I give you instruction, we're grown enough that we can retain the instruction. That's kind of my thought process. If you forget something, okay, don't be afraid to ask me. But if I tell you something a minute ago and then you're still asking me five minutes later, we got a problem. So that kind of went on for the first couple of weeks. And I was okay with that because I needed to um, give, I needed to be patient. Hello, dad. I needed to be patient. That's number one. And I needed to better understand that everybody's not like me. So that also was, was a thing. I had to also learn that everybody is not like me. So I can't expect everybody to be like me and move like me. But I can put expectations on work ethic and how we do things. It seemed that every single day for the first two to three weeks of us working together, the person was late every day to the point where I started to compromise with the person and basically say, hey, OK, we're going to adjust your time because I see it. you have a hard time because of your own situation, which is what was explained to me of getting to your the place on time. So I adjusted the time by 30 minutes because, hey, I can start work on my own. I only have one client at a time per se, when I start in the morning, I don't have three people waiting on me in the morning, which I shouldn't have done, but I did. Red flag number two, but that wasn't a red flag on their part. That was a red flag on my part because I was, I actually compromised on something that I should not have compromised on. That's number one, number two. Anyhow, even after adjusting the time, there was a situation where a client canceled early that morning and I immediately let the person know, hey, our first client canceled. So like I would say, come in, let's be, you'll have to be in for 10. 
which technically is later than your normal time. Do you know the person was still late even then? And I'm like, you know, this is, this is kind of odd. This is kind of odd. So I'm going to tell you guys where I went wrong. This is where I went wrong outside of, outside of being okay and lenient with the time. One thing that I've learned being on YouTube is it's okay to be selfish with yourself and, and your growth. And hear me when I say it's okay to be selfish. I have to learn to stop sharing my platform with people that don't deserve to be shared on my platform. And I'm not saying in any way, shape or form, the person actually cared to be shared on my platform because the person would always hide or act like they didn't want to be seen because of whatever situations or however situations. But I overlooked it because that person also was a fellow YouTuber. And I'm one of those people where I, I can share my platform if I see fit. But that was my mistake. And I'm not going to say that was their mistake because they did it at times say, I don't have to be on the, I don't want to be on the camera. That did not bother me. So that was my mistake by even pushing the, the envelope. Okay. That was my mistake. You got to be able to admit your mistakes. That was my mistake. Anyhow, it became an open forum in the salon. And if you guys have been paying attention, for those of you who were watching my lives, if you guys have been paying attention on those lives, it was a very open forum in regards to conversation. It was um, an open forum in interaction within the salon and clients. Because remember, I had started to do the lives more at that point. There was a situation one day <laughs> Valerie, it's okay. There was a situation, well, multiple days, but one day in specific, a comment was made um, as we were walking to the car and in the chat, but I didn't catch the comment. And it just so happened that my family members caught the comment and they put the person in timeout. And the comment was something about my car. Um, I'm, I'm okay with sharing. It was something about my car sounds like an old truck when it starts. And I did not see the comments, so I didn't really know what was going on. I'm blocked from a lot of things when it comes on to my lives because my moderators are bomb, and specifically Grace. Grace Blockfinger is on point. She's a speed demon with the Blockfinger, so I don't really get to see things, and she would delete your comment real quick. So when the person said that, and I, I didn't catch it the first day, I'm talking to my father the next day. Shout out to my dad, by the way. And my dad was like, but he's like, he's like, Crystal, the person made a certain comment and he told me what the person said because I did not get to talk to my moderator about it. He told me what the person said. And then when I heard the comment, I then talked to my moderator and my moderator was like, wait, she didn't like that. She did not like how that person did that because it's like you're trying to bring disgrace. And one thing about island people, and it might just be people general, you see, disgrace, disgrace is not a thing that we take. The embarrassment, embarrassment is not a thing that we take. And let me be very clear, because when I heard the comment, I was offended, but I wasn't offended. I'm going to tell you guys why I was offended, but wasn't offended. Number one, I drive a $90,000 car. Anybody who don't know, now you know. I drive an AMG V8 turbo engine Mercedes. If you don't know what that is, go Google that. I have literally probably one of not even 20 of these in the whole city because it's that rare of a car. You who is driving a hoopty, no disrespect, cannot come and class my car. Make sure we're on the same level before you say certain things. And me personally, I don't like to class people, but I took it in offense without taking it in offense. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. I took it in offense because you, got, you saw fit to come out of your mouth and talk about something that you couldn't even dream to afford. Thank God, because I'm humble to it. I thank God that I can afford it. I can afford more than one. Thank you, Jesus. But why I wasn't offended? Because I know that you're not on my level for me to be offended. We got to be the same. Kings and queens don't fraternize with the pawns on the chessboard. You protect us in front. So at the end of the day, I'm not offended because it came more from a place of, you, you, there's a saying in, in, in the West Indian world. Take the seriousness out of that joke. And even though the person said, it was a joke because I called, I contacted the person 
And I had a conversation about it. And I said, hey, listen, we're on a stage when we're on YouTube. And I understand you're trying to be funny. I understand that we laugh a lot, but it's inappropriate because at the end of the day, I keep a certain stature. Y'all see me live in real time. Y'all see that I, I have growth that goes with it. I don't portray myself as a superstar. I'm very crystal, right? But what you're not going to do is take anything that I know you can't even obtain, even in your best day and my worst day, <laughs> and offend me with it. So that's why I was offended, but I wasn't offended because we're not upon the same level. We're, we're not the same place. Period. Period. Across the board. Anyway, so after that now, I could tell that the, there was a slight animosity towards it because the person kind of had a little hesitation going forward. They had a little hesitation going forward. Hold on, let me get my kids. Adriana, Christian. Adriana, time to go. Anyhow. Anyhow, that's why my father and my moderator, if y'all don't know who I'm talking about, is Grace, period. Um, that's why my father and my moderator were like, straight across the board and i'm just gonna say this out loud that i don't like her that's that was just that was just the response i got from both of them and i still gave people time to hey i still give people time to hang themselves i'm one of those very i'm a very cancer person i give you time to hang yourself you can disrespect me, but you see, the disrespect has to be on a level where I have to care that much. I have to care that much. And because I knew that on the chessboard I am queen and you're the pawn up there in front, I didn't feel that way. So I overlooked that. I was. Anyhow, that situation passed, but I could feel that there was a level of animosity at that point because the person had also pointed out that they would no longer be commenting because my moderator saw fit to put you in timeout like she not playing it. Mind you, at these points, me and Grace, we talk, but we weren't talking all the time like what we do right now. Like we talk more now. I talk more to Grace now than I talk to my father. Okay? All right, good. Anyway, after that happened, the person was like, oh, you know, I'm not going to be commenting anymore, whatever, whatever. Me personally, I didn't care. Regardless if you did or not, like, I, I don't, I didn't care. Like, it wasn't a big deal. So anyway, time goes by. We still having the issue of the late, the late, the late, the late. There was also an issue where it was very, if you're going to be an assistant, you have to be able to take criticism. That's what being, as an assistant, I'm not going to lie. I had many days of me being in my feelings. Because as an assistant, you still look at it like I'm an adult. You can't talk to me a certain kind of way. You can't tell me what to do. But you're working for someone else. You're working for someone else. So you have to be able to take that criticism and say, listen, this is the way that she wants it done. So that's how she's going to do it. And a lot of you would see it on my lives where it was like I'm telling you to do something a certain way. Either, but you either got an excuse for doing it a certain way. Or you're making an excuse of why you couldn't do it a certain way. Or you just wasn't listening, period, to understand what I'm saying. Okay? Okay. So, that time passes by. And right around the holidays, this was after I came back from Curacao. Um, and right before we went to Jamaica for Christmas. Right before we went to Jamaica for Christmas. This was during that time. Um, it just so happened. <laughs> it just so happened that one day the person comes in and they come in, they come in so late, and that was the last straw for me. That was the last straw. The first straw was the joke that was a serious thing. It wasn't a joke. The second straw <laughs> after that was the coming in late and the also the talking back and not listening to me. The last time I heard. I built my clientele with my two hands. These hands, y'all see me moving with these long, crusty brown nails that's under it, okay? I built my reputation by my two hands. 
I didn't build it for being inappropriate on the internet. I didn't build my following by being inappropriate. I didn't do any of that, okay? None of that. I built it with my two hands and this big mouth and my authentic self. I've never been anything different, okay? Okay. So the last day of employment comes because the person was extremely late. You guys, I'm going to step out, okay? If my phone rings, let me know. Let me step out, you guys, so you, so we can we can chat freely cuz I try not to chat too much in front of my kids. We've kind of gotten away from that. Anyhow, the last day of the person's employment, they came in very late and I said, "This is the last straw." And I pulled the person to the side. I pulled the person to the side and I said, "Hey, this is the last day that I can allow you to be late. Now, mind you, I didn't bring up any other situations. At this point, it was about facts and facts only, and it was about work. Because I'm not going to put the personal in there. Because, like I said, I wasn't offended, so I didn't care. <laughs> I just didn't care. Anyway, the person came in late, and I said, this is the last day. You will be allowed to come in late. If not, I'm going to have to let you go. The person then returns and says at that moment that she has a lot going on. And within her saying she has a lot going on, I don't know if the person was expecting me to extend a helping hand, but I wasn't compelled to extend a helping hand. I was just listening to the person and hearing them out. And she voluntarily resigned by saying, this is not going to rectify itself right now because of what she's going through. So rather than you fire me, I'd rather this be my last day. Me personally, I was like, okay, no problem. It didn't bother me. It really didn't bother me. I was like, fine. You know, at that point, it was like, I understand. It's a win-win because at the end of the day, I don't have to get nasty. I don't have to get blown up and throw you out or none of that stuff because we're grown. But number two, I didn't have to be confrontational by letting you go because we both agreed. So I'm like, hey, okay, no problem. You know, you can work to the end of the day or whatever. I'll pay you as I normally do. So we have a little notebook that you write down your services and she gets paid based on the service. So if she's watching a natural client or a relaxed client, that's how she gets paid. It wasn't a, a bunch of ducats to make you rich. It wasn't any of that. It was just work, okay? So the little notepad, I noticed that during the day, while I was working, we had some downtime and she was just sitting in a chair and I noticed that she was writing something. But it seemed like she was writing something very long on the notepad. But it was kind of like in the middle of the notepad. Anyhow, um, as she's writing it, it just kind of came in my head. And something in my head was like, well, Crystal, like, I don't know if it was God telling me to do something or not. It was like, he was like, Crystal, extend a helping hand to her. Offer to pay something for her, but don't keep her. Just like that. And that my, my mind said to do that. And I said, okay, I'll wait to the end of the day and talk to her and find out what's going on to assist her. I had already let her go. She had already decided to go. It was neither to keep her here. I didn't need to keep her here. Something just told me to extend that helping hand. It wasn't anything that she asked for or nothing. So I just want to be very clear. She never asked for anything, none of that. Now, some people try to do it in an indirect way. I'm not going to say she did that, but I felt that too because I went back and forth with myself all day before I would even mention that I was gonna extend a helping hand. I'm also a firm believer that if you help people, you get blessed. That's just me. And I was hearing the voice in my head and I don't know if it was God talking to me. I can't tell y'all that because I hate people that tell me, girl, God spoke to me. I don't know if he did. But I just heard the voice keep telling me to do it and in my inner flesh, was like, nah, she playing you, don't do it. Anyhow, we get towards the end of the day and I noticed she had finished writing in the notepad and I, that's also the notepad that she's supposed to write her services in. And then I go back to the notepad at the end of the week or the end of the day and I tally up her money and I cash up the money directly to her. So I was paying her in cash. It wasn't like you gotta wait on a paycheck. Like being an assistant, putting you on a payroll, we're not, we're not doing that right now. Okay. So at the end of the day, she had an appointment, so she had to leave early. As she was leaving early and I saw her writing in the notepad, something else came in my head and said, Crystal, she's writing something and that something that she's writing seems dangerous. 
And when I say seems dangerous, the reason why I stepped out of my car, because I don't like talking about this in front of my kids, it seemed like she was writing a note of some sort. And you know when people are writing notes and they've already expressed to you that they're going through so much and so much is happening, first thing flew up in my head was suicide, okay? I didn't say it out loud. I didn't mention it to her. I didn't do anything. So as she was leaving, I'm like, hey, 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 wait a second. Wait a second, because I knew in my head that something was not right. But I said, okay, wait a second. I said, wait, I need to ask you something. I need to ask you something. Mind you, in the midst of this, of me saying I need to ask her something, I was also going to ask her what help she needed. And I was going to literally cash up her some of what she needed. I'm not going to pay your whole mortgage or nothing, but I'm going to try to assist you regardless if you're going to stay with me or not. I didn't need you to stay with me. That wasn't the point. Something just said to help her. But it just so happened that it happened in a way where I was not able to help her because all I saw was the writing that came in my head. Like, nah, Crystal, you need to talk to her because something seems wrong. She ends up saying, oh, I got an appointment. I got an appointment. I have to go. I have to go. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll just call me. I'll call you when I get off because I still needed to talk to her to find out that number one and number two to find out really what she's going through because sometimes people go through things silently and you have to be able to, and I'm not going to say we have to be able to, God will use you as a vessel for other people. You don't know who you're helping when you're helping them. Something was like when I got done with my client, something said, Crystal, go over to the notebook, go over to the notebook and see what she left in the notebook. Because I noticed that she did not tear the page out of the notebook as she was leaving. She set it down and she left. Something said, go over to the notebook. Number one, I had to go over to the notebook to find out how much to pay her. That was number one. Number two, something said, nah, look in the notebook to see what she wrote. I flip the pages of the notebook and it lands literally on the page that she was writing on. Mind you, this is a notepad, nice and thick. The page is not going to stand out because there's a lot of pages in the pad. When I flip the pad, it flips, it flips literally to the letter that she was writing. And in the letter, she's basically writing indirectly, telling her kids to love each other, telling her kids to, you know, take care of each other and all these things. I'm not going to go too deep into it. But the note read to me as a suicide note, like it was your last will and testament. And when I saw it, I panicked. I literally called this girl 15 times between the salon and the mall because I was going to go take something back. And I'm on, a high, I'm on the highway. I'm praying for this girl. I'm saying, God, if you have to use me as a vessel, you have to use me as a vessel. Ray, Ray, Ray. I'm doing all of that. All of this now, I'm blowing her phone up. I'm texting her because I'm like, God, not on my watch. Not on my watch. You wrote this note and you left it in the salon. So two twos now, the girl don't answer the phone. I'm going to tell y'all when I knew, when I knew that God knew what he was doing by releasing this person. Because at this point, I was like, hold on, something ain't right here. Something ain't right here. Because as I'm leaving the mall, something said, Crystal, call her two more times just to make sure that you did your part. I call her two more times. She doesn't answer. But in the midst of the second call, she sends me a text. And you know what that text said? Hey, I'm assuming that you found something that I left that wasn't for you. Don't worry, I'm okay. I'm just going through a lot. Bitch. Hold up, 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 hold up. First of all, <laughs> if that's your response, that means that you literally wrote that shit for, an, for some attention. <laughs> <Let's>... <sighs> Calm down, Crystal. That means the person literally wrote that to get attention. Put Yes, hand on the jaw. There's no other legitimate reason that the person could give me for writing that and intentionally leaving it. Intentionally leaving it. Mind you, I battled with myself all day going back and forth that I was going to help this person. And then a part of me said, no, nah, don't help her because she's going you. She playing you. That's the inner crystal. Crystal always having a thought of everybody has an ulterior motive. She's playing you. So I think I actually spoke to Grace and Grace was like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Grace was like, no, she did it for attention. I spoke to two other people, including my own man. He said, babe, she did that for attention. I said, dang, you'll go that far? She did some lifetime movie type thing. 
And I don't, I don't know. Maybe she could have been thinking it. Maybe she wasn't thinking it. I don't know. That's not my place to judge. But you see, between the cards stacking up the way they did, it was like, hold on, sister. You wrote a, you wrote, it's like you wrote your last will and testament and then you purposely left it there for me to find it and feel sorry for you. And I did. I did. I did. You see, after she said that, my first gut was, I was telling her, uh-uh, I need to talk to you. Because I was about to tell her about herself. But then my second gut came and was like, nah, just leave it alone. You know why? Because you dodged the bullet. You dodged the big bullet. Because guess what? You have an empathy for everybody, and I'm an, I'm an empath. That's a problem that I have because it's a strength, but it's a weakness. And I was willing to look through that and be the empath, even in the midst of everything that was going on. Yes. So, you know, I'm a very um, West Indian type person. <laughs> everybody might have a different way. Everybody call it spiritual. <laughs> okay. Listen, when I went back to work the next day, could y'all believe I went back to work? I used gloves. I put gloves on my hands. Anything that she had given within that salon, I literally put it in a box, brought it downstairs to the dumpster, and threw it in the garbage, including the notepad, including the pen, any decor. It didn't matter what she brought in there. All of it went in the garbage, all in the fridge. If you didn't have a juice, I say, listen, you see that spirit that you bringing in here? Take that shit with you, please. Don't leave it here. Take it with you, please. Take it with you. Take it with you, sweetheart. Don't leave that in here. And that is why you guys will always hear me say, hi. Okay. That is why you guys will hear me say when somebody's like, oh, are you looking for an assistant? Somebody asked me that the other day. And I'm like, no, I'm not. If one comes along, great. Great. If one comes along, great. <laughs> no, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. No, thank you. Because I'm firmly believing that that person did it to be seen. You are one of those people where you will... That's a narcissist, if nobody knows what that is. That is a narcissist, you know. That is a narcissist. That is a telltale sign of a narcissist. I said, okay. That experience was probably one of the craziest. That was a lifetime movie for me. That was a lifetime movie right there. It was unbelievable. And that's how I knew from the response. I knew the person had tried to bait me up. You're using the right word. I knew that the person was trying to play me. And I said, okay. You see, from that moment on, no, no, no. I don't need no more assistance. Mm -mm. Even with this baby on the way, I will struggle before I hire. Because that there cannot 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 uh -uh. you said tell them about the client's response which client now you i gotta remember what we're talking about which client oh <laughs> i got it so if you guys remember during christmas time we were doing the pulling of cards and remember, the person had brought in some items to give to the clients as a part of being nice of some sort or, you know, just wanting to be nice. I saw it as a good gesture, but there was one client in specific. And it's so crazy. I got to tell you all this. Ooh, I got to tell you all this. The one client in specific, she was offering the gift to her and the client wouldn't take it. She would not take it. And at that moment, I was like, girl, just take the thing. Here you go. And I pick one for her. And I was just being funny. Do you know that I haven't seen that client since then? I haven't seen her since that day. I haven't heard from her since that day. I don't know what vibe she picked up from that person, but I know she picked up a vibe. Because I could feel her energy that day and it was off. And I said, uh-huh. You have to be careful the people you bring into your space. You have to be careful the people you bring into your space because you don't know who's carrying what and who's doing what. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen her since then. Like, it's been a while. 
I haven't heard from her since then. That was the last appointment that she had. I haven't seen her since that moment. And that's why I say you got to be so careful with people that you allow into your space. And most of the time, you don't even know because discernment comes in different ways. Discernment doesn't have to come at the beginning. It can come in the middle. It can come at the end. But discernment doesn't come always right at the beginning of you meeting somebody for you to know. Mine came at the end, but it came at the end and it came at the end of the movie with the cliffhanger. And you're just like baffling. <laughs> but because I am one of those people where I still keep it professional, every time you guys would ask me, hey, what happened to such and such? And my response was, she's just no longer with us. You know why? Because I was not ready to to really talk about it because I just couldn't believe that it really happened. Like I wasn't, and I'm one of those, it's just like when your job fires you and you, another job calls them, their job is not to tell them, well, you know, <laughs> she da da da, no. Hey, it's either this or hey, it's either that. Mm-hmm. Andrea, that's what that person is. You're right, period. But I should have caught on from the comment that was made, the seriousness that was made inside the joke. But once again, being myself, I let it slide as usual and I let it slide. But you're one, I'm one of those people where you're going to build it, but it's going to break. And when it breaks, I'm done. That's the cancer. Loyal to a fault, to a default at that. They say when a person shows you their true self at the beginning, believe it. But I didn't. I kept letting it go. And even Grace, hey, there were some days where Grace would get so crossed that she'd log off. And y'all wouldn't even know these were some of the reasons why. My father would call me. My father had already told me more than once. He's like, Dada, uh-uh. He's like, uh-uh. I don't like her. <laughs> Grace was pure out she don't like her. No. Yes, there were a lot of... and every. I know you guys saw it. A lot of you guys saw it. A lot of you guys saw it. But I'm such a patient person. And I'm also... I don't want you guys to take this in the wrong way. But I'm, I'm super blonde to certain things. But when I catch it, I catch it. When I catch it, I really catch it. And then we see when I really catch it you're dead so that is how and that is the reason why I no longer have one of those things which is called an assistant I don't want one I don't need one uh uh if I ever was to get another one that is because that other one came to me from the right place but sometimes you even think that they're coming from the right place sometimes you think it's it's a godsend that it's happening when it's really the devil that sent them because it, it's god can't send nothing like that the devil sent them and god moved them that's how it works sometimes he will do that in your highest moment he will send them and then god has to now go through and he has to use the broom and sweep and sweep and mop and sweep until eventually the trash have to go out. And that's how it happened. That is now why. So now everybody knows why. <laughs> why I don't and will not. <laughs> I'm not. Doing homework? Mm-hmm. That is why. Absolutely not. V Jones, because I'm in a building that I'm in, I'm not able to do so, but it's fine. I got it. I got it. The person was blocked from my channel. The person was blocked from my other channel. I don't want to see nothing. Just when I see the person, I cringe because I know what the person did was a lie. I know what they did was literally narcissism in its rawest form. In its rawest form. That is a narcissist. They have to leave, but they got to leave with a statement behind them. Mm. 
yeah with me I got the same response by everyone I got the same response you know I got the same response yeah but on, on another note <laughs> this is my anniversary week so I chose to just to to give that out because I haven't given you guys a story time there's a couple of different things but I'll talk about I talk about things in my own timing but today like I said you guys is ebook day and e-class day <laughs> where all of my ebooks all of my e-classes are four dollars and twenty cents they are electronic so nothing has to be delivered and there is no shipping so today is the day for you guys to be able to get whatever books it is that you want it and we dropped four new ebooks as well outside of that you guys tomorrow is tool day tomorrow's tool day tomorrow's tool day so if you're ready for the tools and the sales amounts i'll give it to you guys right now but I need everybody to close their chat and hit the thumbs up button. And I also need some fire emojis for that amazing story time. Because that one right there is going down in the history books as a lifetime movie. And that one was a lifetime movie right there. That couldn't be made up even if I tried. <clears throat> yeah. That one was definitely go it's going down in the history books of lifetime movies. In the midst of you guys doing your emojis, thank you to everybody who has supported our anniversary week. It is a week-long sale, okay? Week-long. We have we have different sales each day. I made today ebook day because I want I didn't want it to be about shipping. I didn't want you guys to have to pay shipping for anything. I wanted you guys to be able to get content and get information that I would never be able to literally speak out of my mouth in one video. That is what the ebooks and e-tools and all ebooks and e-tools, e ebooks and e-class is about today. That's why we did them for four dollars and twenty cents to certify and 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 celebrate the fact that we launched on four twenty four years ago. So this is my fourth year. Four twenty four years ago we launched Elite Hair Care USA product line. Mhm. Mm it's been four years. So I'm super proud. I'm super proud of myself for my growth because I had given you this story time when it first happened. <laughs> Things are not made to be told right away sometimes. It's not. It's not. My story is not going to be your story. Maybe she might be amazing to you, but horrible to me. But that's fine. Anyhow. Let me give you guys what tomorrow's tools are going to be on sale. They are limited, so just listen, listen, listen. Okay, listen, listen. Tomorrow is our tool day. I'll start with the hair care site. So on the hair care site, all of our black diamond H2 Pro flat irons. These are the super pro irons that you guys always see me using. Those irons run between $159.99 and $169.99. Tomorrow, this is just the iron, by the way. That is the cost on my site. Tomorrow, all of the black diamond irons are $125 with a free frizz tamer and shine serum. So you get both for $125 for all the black diamond irons. So even the newest iron that we're launching tomorrow, which is tonight at midnight is when the sale starts. Tonight we are launching the 7 tenths of an inch, which is the between the baby iron and the one inch iron. That iron will be available come tonight at midnight. And it will also be on sale for $125. Plus you get a free frizz tamer and shine serum. Plus your shipping is going to be free if you shop over $150. So all you got to do is get you an iron and add something else to your cart. And your shipping is going to be free okay so all black diamond irons which is the three tenths inch the seven tenths inch these are ceramic the one inch ceramic the one inch titanium all four of those irons are going to be 125 with a free frizz tamer and shine serum okay so basically you are saving about fifty dollars actually sixty dollars on the iron and the frizz tamer together you're saving sixty bucks Okay, our Elite Anniversary Irons, our Elite Signature Irons, those irons are $65, 
and you get a free frizz tamer and shine serum. So the one and three fourths inch titanium, the one inch titanium, the three tenths inch titanium, all of those irons are going to be $65 with a free frizz tamer and shine serum, okay? Now, if you buy any two flat irons, it doesn't matter what two you buy. If you get any two flat irons, you get a free blow dry heat protectant spray along with your order. It will come automatically. You don't have to add it. It will come automatically. As long as you have two flat irons in your order, you'll get a free additional Fly, um, blow dry spray excuse me blow dry heat protecting spray so all you got to do is buy two and you automatically will get it you don't add it to your cart there is no code we will automatically put it in your package for you along with your frizz tamer and shine serum of each iron okay so it's not one frizz tamer per order it's one frizz tamer per iron and then if you order two or more you get one blow dry heat protecting spray along with it my website is EliteHairCareUSA.com. The tool sale does not start until tonight at midnight. It will go through tomorrow while supplies last. Okay, it is while supplies last. Lastly, our red plate iron, which is the Vivace, our hot comb, it's the red plate iron and the hot comb. Both of those irons typically go for $120. Tomorrow, they will be going for $100 with a free frizz tamer and shine serum. So basically, you are saving yourself about 45 grays of iron. The black diamonds, those are going for $125 with a free frizz tamer. The Vivace, which is the red plate and the hot comb, those are going for $100 with a free frizz tamer. And then the Elite Anniversary irons, those are going for $65 with an Elite frizz tamer and shine serum for free. Any two irons in your cart automatically gets you a free blow dry heat protectant spray. You do not have to add that to your cart unless you want it more than one. But you get one for free automatically if you have two or more irons in your cart. Okay? All the irons will be marked down tomorrow or tonight because I know a lot of you like to shop at midnight. All of the irons will be marked down tonight at midnight. The sale is on limited supply. So whenever it runs out, you will notice that the price will go back to regular price because that means that that iron is sold out. If the price is not back to regular price, that means that we have it in stock and you are fine. So the new 7 tenths of an inch that you guys have been seeing me use but not allow it on the site, that will be on the site tonight for $125 with a free frizz tamer. The regular price for the 7 tenths is $159.99. That's the regular price. Most of our irons from Black Diamond are between $159 and $169. I already said I need a sponsor. <laughs> I can. <laughs> but like I said, you guys, today's sale, today's sale is all of the ebooks, all of the e-classes are how much, you guys? How much did I say? $4.20. $4.20. You failed. You get a nap. Oh, you're doing math. Okay, I don't want to confuse you. Oh, Okay, let me see. Best products in the business. Love your tools and hair care. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Julian, for responding to him because I didn't see it. Y'all know when my phone started blinging who it is. Watch out. Wax warmers. Thank you, Grace. On the body care site, wax warmers will be on sale. So our extra large indigo wax warmer, because that is a tool, our extra large indigo wax warmer normally goes for $39.99. It will be on sale for $30. $30 tomorrow. Our porcelain, which is the white wax warmer, that one typically goes for $29.99. Or third, no, the indigo goes for $37. I'm sorry. It will be $30. Our porcelain, which is the white, which is a slight smaller, a little bit smaller than the larger one. That will go for $20, I think. It was $20. So, no, I'm lying. $22 and $30. There we go. So, that is the wax warmers. Those will also go on sale tonight. Outside of the tools, you guys, everything on our site will still be 30% off. Everything on the body care site will still be 40% off. Okay, the body care site is 40% off the entire week. 
the wax warmers are not a part of that sale which is the reason why we saved it for the tool sale so that you guys can get your discounts on your tools we never have sales on tools never okay so the tool sale is tonight at midnight while supplies last while frizz tamer and shine serum last <laughs> okay that is the tool sale today as i said is the ebook and e-class sale four dollars and twenty cents you buy four you get one additional book or class for free so for twenty dollars and eighty cents you are getting five ebooks e-classes or a conjunction of the two it's your choice you can pick we have four new ebooks that dropped today we have the mature woman menopausal hair care we have the children's book how to better care for your child's hair we have it's a baby postpartum hair loss and hair care and then we have the revival how to regrow your hairline so those four books drop today so you'll be able to get those four books for four dollars and twenty cents thanks to grace you guys will be able to enjoy the book sale all the way through so they will only be four dollars and twenty cents versus nineteen dollars even my how to open a salon book that is four twenty four dollars and twenty cents my low porosity book four dollars and twenty cents all of those classes how to care for gray hair relaxed hair four dollars and twenty cents you guys i can't say that enough everything else on the hair care site is also 30 percent off we made it this way where you guys don't need any codes to shop any of the sales there's no code whatsoever that can be used all week you won't have to use anything come thursday everything will be 50 percent off Come Friday, will be free shipping all weekend. Any order over $60, you automatically get a free Nefertiti hair potion. So there's a lot of freebies based on the tiers, okay? There's a freebie for you just purchasing a tool. There's a freebie for you purchasing $60 worth of items today, which is the Nefertiti potion. Tomorrow, Nefertiti potion will also be included because it's over $60. Yes. Thursday, which is our actual anniversary day. Any purchase over $60, you get a free Nefertiti potion. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, same thing. So we are giving out Nefertiti potions all week with any purchase over $60. It doesn't matter if there was already a sale. It will automatically apply to your subtotal. It does not include your taxes and it doesn't include your shipping. So as long as you're over $60 before that, you're getting all of that. That is an anniversary. Have I said a lot? I think I said a lot, right? Okay, good. <laughs> I got it all out. Hi, right, boy. Thank you. Wax warmers, same thing. They will already be priced as marked. You don't even have to use a code to get those. And then all the body care products are 40% off. That's including our soaps. Soaps are $7.99 on the regular, so you do the math. Crystal, we are not doing the bundle kits because there's not. <laughs> we decided to not do anything with bundle kits because we're giving the discount on the individual products. So you're better off getting the products you need to make the bundle and then you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. So no bundle kits. We were gonna bundle some of the irons, but a lot of you have most of the irons. Bye daddy. A lot of you have most of the irons and maybe you only need one iron. Maybe there's a one, one iron you've been eyeballing. That's another reason why we didn't bundle them. We want you to be able to get whatever items, irons you want individually to tailor, tailor it to your hair care. Okay, so we just kind of stricken out the bundles because bundles, it doesn't really make sense. Everything's already 30% off. It don't make sense. So like I said, today is ebook and e-class day. So you guys grab all your ebooks, get all your e-classes. Yes. Tomorrow. And when I say tomorrow, I mean tonight at midnight is tool day while supplies last. Don't forget if you add more than one iron to your cart, you will automatically receive a free blow dry heat protectant spray that you guys always see me using. It will automatically be placed in your package while supplies last it's an automatic you don't have to add it to your cart unless you choose to buy one that's your choice but adding it to your cart will not make it free you don't have to add it to your cart we will give it to you as a part of it okay 
So you're gonna go to EliteHairCareUSA.com for all of the hair care stuff and the tools. EliteTotalBodyCare.com for all of your body care products, your Moon Spice, which is your Elite Eat products, and also your Elite Home products, which is the candles, the wax warmers, all that stuff is included in the 40% off. The room refresher, why does that open? Okay, <laughs> let me give it a second. Hold on, our gate didn't open for me to go in. Okay, okay girl. All right, you guys, I'm out of breath now because I've talked so much. I'm going home to go cook some food. Ha! <sighs> Don't forget the moon sauce, the moon spice. Those are also included in the 40% off sale, so you guys can grab them. We want you to try them. Sales are made for you guys to try our products so you can see how amazing they are. Our tools are automatically amazing. I'm just going to tell you guys that straightforward. Our tools are automatically amazing. Just know that. Okay? Like, just know that. Like, one thing I don't have to worry about is tools or products because my products were built by a pro for pros. And the tools were built by pros for pros. So you're getting nothing but pro and pro and pro. Okay? I love you guys. I love you guys. Be safe out there. Watch who you're around. Watch who you bring into your space. And that will literally be easier. <laughs> if you have that spirit of discernment, God gave you an amazing gift. Use it. I love you guys very much. And thank you guys for supporting our Elite Anniversary Week. Bye-bye.